Now, what would you think if I told you you could buy an electric golf trolley for just under £3,700? Who would make it? What would it look like? And what sort of features would it offer to the golfer? Well, in this video, I'm going to attempt to answer those questions because I've got with me this brand new UCAD Drive SL Travel EX 2.0 electric trolley. It's handmade in Germany and it costs £3,686. It's a lot of money. So in this video, we're going to find out exactly how it works and what features it offers and how it performs on the golf course to see if it's really worth that hefty price tag. Right, so I wanted to start this video by showing you what this trolley from UCAD looks like when it comes in the box. So this is the box that it arrived in and as you'd expect from a trolley that costs so much, it is a little bit of a different experience when you do get it out of the box because as you can see, it comes in its very own travel case. You can see, get rid of the box, it comes with its very own, it's basically like a little mini suitcase. So. You know, this is part of the package, but let's take a look inside, first of all, to reveal the trolley and how it comes. So in the zip up section are the two wheels. Um, we've got the, the frame in here, comes with a free Ducad hat. Probably need that today, very sunny. You can see this is the kind of main body of the trolley, um, which is protected by these elasticated golf balls which go on the end which is pretty cool and we've got obviously other parts of the frame we've got the charger we've got the battery and we've got the pouch which has the remote control in it so that's what you get um, and you can see what's interesting about this I think is that there's a lot of space inside yes when you fold the lid back over the wheels have to sit back inside the suitcase but you know, if you were thinking of traveling abroad to play golf and you wanted to take your trolley with you and maybe you didn't want to store the bits of the trolley inside your normal travel bag and you want to take a separate bag, um, you could comfortably store other items in here, wash bags, clothes, etc., um, while also transporting your trolley as well. Whether it's giving you the level of protection that you would want from uh, given that the trolley costs so much money is debatable it's not the most padded so you might worry a little bit but it is an option that uh, golfers have um, if they want to take this trolley abroad uh, i'm not going to assemble it here i think it's about time we took it to the golf course um, put it together where i will talk you through all the various different features and benefits of this trolley before we go and actually use it on the course right okay so we've got this trolley out on the golf course and before i give it a thorough test just want to talk you through some of the features that potentially make it worthy of that price tag just under that £4,000 mark. So you can see, you know, visually it's a very, very different looking trolley. It's got a very much a minimalist design, but it's still really, really stylish and cutting edge. It's got this really nice satin finish on the titanium elements of the frame. So it really does have that premium appeal. And what's really cool about this trolley is that the electronics and the motor is all housed within this um, axle section here at the bottom of the frame so um, it's really really sleek you know a lot of modern day trolleys there's quite a big bulky section at the bottom where the battery and the motor everything is stored but this doesn't have that you can see it's very very streamlined in that regard just want to talk about the assembly process obviously I've got it up now um, so I've been able to do it and actually it was surprisingly easy given the fact that yes this trolley does break off into different parts whereas most electric trolleys break down while still remaining connected in one piece and that does have its benefits because the storage option to be a bit more versatile so you can move the bits of the trolley around to suit the space that you've got be it in your car or at home um, so i actually f think that's a, a strong benefit this trolley is that it definitely takes up an awful lot less room in your car even if you stack the bits up um, on top of each other it's still very very thin so potentially you could put it on your parcel shelf it's really designed actually for people with a lot of money, maybe driving sports cars with small boots. Um, so therefore it had to fold down small and it definitely delivers that. But it uses these tiny metal clasps when you're sliding the bits in or pulling them out even, it can potentially catch your thumb if you're not too careful. The only thing I don't like about it really is the way it looks potentially is how the battery connects to it. So you can see here, I'm gonna put my bag on the trolley itself. So the battery itself, you can see here, it's, it's housed in your golf bag and then the cable reaches over and connects into the hole here so 
that is how the trolley looks when it's out on the golf course. So I think wires hanging out of a trolley into your golf bag looks a little bit odd and I don't really like the look of that. I think uh, some golfers might be put off by that. Um, also, it's gonna take up some space in your bag. Uh, some people have bags where space is at a premium, that's gonna be a problem for you. The other thing I don't really like is the design of the bungee straps. You can see the tension on these is quite high. You know, I've got a stand bag, which isn't the biggest, and even I'm struggling to reach around and get the strap secured in place. Um, so if you've got a bigger bag, that's gonna be even more difficult to do. And then, because the tension is so tight, you've gotta be careful when you're undoing it because it could easily whip up and hit you in the leg and that could be quite painful. So uh, just a bit difficult to connect those bungee straps uh, on both top and bottom of the trolley. In terms of operating the trolley, it has three different modes, which are all controlled via this very clever kind of twisty handle here. You've got drive, uh, which obviously forward, then you've got reverse and you've got neutral. And all you do, put it in drive, and if you want to go forward, you simply just twist the handle towards you and the trolley will go off. The more you twist it, the faster it will go. Another feature this trolley has is automatic distance control. So you can set it off 10, 20 or 30 meters towards the next tee if you like. And you do that using the remote control that comes with the package. So it includes the remote control, the suitcase that it came in, everything that you see here, apart from the clubs and the bag, of course, is included in the price. And you can access those features here on this remote. Looks pretty cool. It comes with a nice key ring as well if you want to attach it to something else. And obviously it gives you the option to control it via the remote control. So I'll give you a little live demo here. See here, it turns pretty easily. Obviously a few more turns. Try and go around me. Very easy to do. There you have it. So I think the proof is really in the pudding. We need to take it out on the golf course, test it over 18 holes to see exactly how it performs in a real world environment. So why don't we do just that? Okay, so I finished my 18 holes playing with this uh, UCAD Drive SL Travel EX 2.0 trolley. And on the whole, I've really enjoyed using it. There are some things I really like about this trolley and there's some other things that I didn't really like about this trolley. This is the same for all trolleys on the market, to be honest with you. But um, let's start with the things that I didn't like about this trolley first. I guess the main thing is the look of it. While it, the, the frame looks quite premium, a lot of people that I saw today at the club when I told them, you know, it's just under £4,000, they kind of said, is that it? You know, really, there's nothing to it. It actually looks a little bit flimsy. I would say it definitely isn't flimsy out on the course, but maybe, you know, some people would be expecting to see a little bit more uh, from a tr trolley that costs so much money. You think of br uh, brands like Stuart Golf, um, their expensive trolleys have a lot more going on. This one, it's all hidden, which for some people will be a, a selling point, um, but for others, they'll want to show off a bit more, especially if you're spending that sort of money. So um, that's a subjective kind of comment, I suppose. Um, the other thing I didn't really like about the, the trolley was kind of maneuvering it. I felt like twisting the handle, I found like I found myself twisting it the wrong way accidentally quite a few times and therefore moving forward when I was trying to stop. Um, also, when you're turning the trolley sharply left and right, sometimes you can also accidentally change the speed, which is just a little bit annoying. The other thing I don't like is the look of the cable from the battery to the trolley. I think that just looks untidy. The fact that the automatic distance control function is housed on the uh, remote control, which basically makes it pointless because if you're going to send your trolley off 10, 20 meters towards the next tee, you might as well do it using the remote. So um, that seems a bit redundant to me. But there are a lot of positives to this trolley as well. The first thing I like about it is how easy it is to put together even though it comes in separate bits i found it really really easy and the fact that it takes up barely any space in your car boot and you can maneuver the different pieces around to cater to the space that you've got so that's a really big thumbs up for me um, i really like the adjustable handle height using this knob here and the lever system it can go really really high so for someone like me who's quite tall yeah, that's a really big selling point because most electric trolleys they often don't go high enough to handle so you find yourself bending over a little bit and that can hurt your back over time so um, really big fan of that obviously the look of it i think is pretty cool i like the minimalist look of it it's a very robust well-made trolley 
Um, there's no kind of qualms about it wobbling. You know, the bag is really secure. I think the level of features is pretty good. You know, I like a, a remote control trolley. I find it quite fun. And I don't find it off-putting at all. It's very, very easy to use. This doesn't come with features that other trolleys have, you know, flagship models from Motor Caddy, Power Caddy have inbuilt GPSs and things like that. This doesn't offer that. This doesn't quite have the level of features that you would expect from a trolley that costs 3,686 pounds. But, you know, what you're getting for this trolley is something that is very, very unique to the market. And when I say that, I think the main selling point of this, other than how easy it is to use, put together and the look of it is the portability of it. So the fact that it comes down, breaks down into different pieces that are very, very thin and very, very slim, it means that you can potentially travel abroad with it. And that's gonna be a strong selling point for golfers. If you're going on a golf holiday, but they don't have buggies, you know, you've got to rent a trolley, maybe even a push trolley, you know, it might cost some extra money. And, you know, push trolleys, obviously, if you're playing a hilly course, can be very tiring. So if you're able to transport your electric trolley abroad, over time, that will save you money. And I think it's very easy to do because of how lightweight and thin it is. The battery only weighs 1.3 kilograms. I'm told that the battery itself isn't 100% waterproof, but it is water resistant to the level that should keep it dry and safe during uh, rain showers that you would encounter out on the course, which is encouraging because often the pocket will have to be open while you store the battery in there with the cable coming out. So that is at least reassuring to know, but not an ideal situation. And the frame itself is very, very lightweight. Um, you can maneuver the pieces around in your travel bag. And because they're made of titanium, they're very, very sturdy. So they should be quite resilient and resist any of those dinks and knocks that potentially will happen in your travel bag. So that's a definitely a unique selling point of this trolley. Definitely worth considering if you play a lot of golf abroad. And if you want something that looks a bit different, you know, let's face it, the trolley market is dominated by two brands, as we know. Um, but this is definitely unlike anything they've ever produced, in my opinion. And there'll definitely be some golfers that really, really love the look of this trolley. You know, I would definitely use this trolley. I think it looks awesome. I'm not a golfer that tends to use kind of, you know, GPS is on trolleys, you know, I'm a laser user, so that doesn't really bother me. Um, not knowing what speed you're going at is a bit of an issue. Um, it just leaves you kind of guessing, a little bit of twiddling of the knob back and forward to get the right speed. So the big question, is this UCAD Golf trolley that costs £3,686 worth the money? I think most people will agree it probably isn't worth that amount of money, but it does have a nice mix of unique features and styling that will make it appeal to certain people who like to kind of splash their cash on expensive gadgets and you know things that other people don't have. You know, people maybe who like a bit of status, uh, like to stand out on the golf course, this is definitely going to appeal to them. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of the UCAD Drive SL Travel EX 2.0 trolley. Hopefully it gives you a good idea as to the features and benefits and what you kind of get for your £3,686 price tag. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do click the like button down below and comment on the video, would you pay that money for this trolley? I'd love to hear from you. But for now, from Burley Park Golf Club here in Stamford, it's goodbye from me. I'll see you next time.